I see Elaine uh, Siegel. Elaine, don't worry about the equipment that's being operated by a, a skilled New York City crane operator. I'm... <laughs> It's only only a joke. Um, my first guest tonight is one of the most talented men practicing comedy today. He is, uh, well, let's take a look at some of his work from the uh, most recent season of Saturday Night Live. Folks, watch the monitors. Well, continues with Dr. Joyce Brothers and Robin Williams. We're back. Oh, back. Like the back of my hand. Don't end me, Miss Crawford. I never touch your eyebrow pencil. Oh, John Crawford, she's wonderful. Oh, 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 how is that? Kate and Allie. Allie. You eat these biscuits before they get cold. I've slaved over them all day, and you haven't eaten a lot. For magic is the spirit of illusion. <laughs> An illusion can be magical. On Jackie! Because, like, tomorrow's my triangle lesson. And to be on the pair with two hard and decent, you know. Folks, please welcome Martin Short. Hello. Martin Short, Elaine Siegel. Elaine? It's lovely to meet you. It's good to see you again. Is this like a balcony scene? You know, she was endorsed by Rabbi Kleinman. I didn't know that. That's a very, very nice girl to be up there all through. Yes, it is. Nice to see you nice again. See you're, you, just, uh, you're just back from vacation. Where, yeah. do, where does a major uh, star like yourself go on vacation? I went to Jamaica, man. Mm -hmm. I was two weeks in Jamaica, man. Did you enjoy that? Well, I, I wasn't there long enough to pick up the accent, mind you. But I was uh, there for uh, just resting and, and uh, visiting friends. At a, the friends of mine were doing a movie mm -hmm. there. Who Peter, were the friends? Uh, well, Robin Williams and Peter. Well, not Peter O'Toole. I don't know Pete. But, uh, <laughs> although I didn't meet him, I, I went up to Pete and I, I Pete, Again. I went up to Mr. O'Toole yeah. and I said, uh, you know, just a pleasure to meet you. I've admired you my whole life. You're such a major star. Mm -hmm. and, and he said, uh, oh, aren't you, aren't you sweet? Be a dear and find out what happened to that coffee, won't you? <laughs> <laughs> So you got the feeling he really wasn't sure who he well, was. Well, I don't know. I mean, we exchanged addresses. There, there was a promise of letter writing, but I'm not going to wait. Yeah. 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 Uh, but also, Eugene Levy was in this film, and, and Joe Flaherty, and, and uh, Andrew Martin. And, now, and you mentioned Robin list. Williams was there, but he wasn't on vacation. He was working in the film, right? Yes, Robin was working yeah, in the film. It's hard for me to imagine Robin Williams taking a vacation. Well, there were days when, you know, you, there, there were Sundays off, and you'd see Robin mm -hmm. kind of on a surfboard. Oh, Martin, look at me. I'm, I'm sailing. Oh, sail, sail, like, sail at Macy's. Oh, the concept. Yeah. We'll talk later. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> Robin is, is <laughs> Robin, yeah, Robin isn't uh, a laid-back guy, even when resting. Yeah. But uh, we were staying in this beautiful hotel, the Trident Hotel, which was uh, kind of a 30s overhead fan thing. And the feeling that, I mean, Noel Coward supposedly had spent a lot of time there, a lot of time there. Yeah. <laughs> and in fact, on quiet nights, you could almost if you listen carefully enough, mm -hmm. hear him saying, find out the name of the tall one. I mean, and, and I, what I'm saying is that, it, I mean, wicker, a lot of wicker. Yeah, a lot of wicker, ceiling from. fans, a lot of uh, stucco, white or pink stucco, that kind of thing. Well, in Noel's room, we didn't see that room, mm -hmm. but, but in my room, there was white stucco. Yeah. And uh, it was very, very, we had a great time. Which, uh, uh, which of the, the folks that you did on your show, Saturday Night Live, over the year, did you, and I, I know the answer to this already, because when we played the tape, Ed Grimley got the biggest response. Yeah, well, Ed, Ed <laughs> well, what got funny is about midway through the year, I started getting a lot of letters from people who were um, uh, doing Ed's hairdo. They mm -hmm. would send pictures. In fact, I, got, I brought, truthfully, I sent, this is from Littleton, Colorado. Andrew Rippey. Andrew sent me some pictures here. Right there. That you can just, uh... This is Andrew, a viewer doing uh, his... Yeah, it's just, uh... <laughs> It looks like he's, he's, he's done it up special for the holidays, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Here's another one. Let's see this one. What is, what is Andrew doing here? Yeah, well, <laughs> you, can, you, can really, you can really take your pick. 
But I got a, I got a picture from a, a priest with his hair up. Uh huh. Yeah. I, he had the white collar and the black, and it just the notion of him in the confessional booth was frightening. You, know? <laughs> you must relieve yourself of your sins, for to have sins are far from decent among ourselves. are not making you go mental. I mean, just <laughs> the, notion, the notion of that is a little mind-boggling. Uh, let me show you one more picture of Andrew here, and then we'll see if we can't uh, talk his parents into having him checked. <laughs> there he is. Yeah! Uh, we have to do a commercial. We'll be uh, right back here with Martin Short. On Martin Short is here. That's uh, Elaine Siegel. She's leaving us soon, and it's our idea of a little joke, therefore. Um, uh, do, do you hear from a lot of folks that you uh, did impressions of? Did you ever hear from uh, Catherine Hepburn? or? Uh... No, Kate never called. I expected some sort of uh, communication <laughs> through the telegram. Oh, but she's not uh, a television watch, I suppose. Uh -huh. uh, uh, <laughs> some people, David Steinberg was pleased when I did him. Mm -hmm. Well, you're, got... you're old friends with David yeah. Steinberg, aren't you? Yeah, in fact, that's when we first met, you know. A long time yes. ago in Toronto. Right. That's right. It was a lot of well, fun. It was in Canada after dark, I think. Yeah, that's but right. But he, he said that he got a call from his aunt in Winnipeg. And he said to me, he said, she was convinced that it was me when I was, when I, so I did my SCTV. And she said, she was convinced it was me. She said, why don't you phone me? It was amazing that you wouldn't contact me. Whenever you are working with Johnny and Doc, you always contact me. <laughs> 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 and so she would not believe that it wasn't he. What about uh, uh, Jerry Lewis? What, uh, Jerry? No, I haven't heard from Jerry. Yeah. Uh, but, but, I mean, well, s see, certain people you do, you take liberties with. And I think that... Uh, I don't, I mean, you hate to think that you offend anybody, because you're just trying to get a, a laugh. Well, that's it's... half the fun of it, though. Well, <laughs> <laughs> no, I know, like, when I do Jerry's laugh, I always uh, feel that I have to have him eating a lozenge for some reason. Uh -huh. Now, he might take offense. You know, <laughs> no, I mean, because when Jerry talks seriously, it's a, it's a, there's a feeling of something, because of, there's a lot of... Uh, giving in what we do uh -huh. and what if you think that's it's easy what he does then you're completely mistaken because you got to sit back there <laughs> and when he does the uh, the laugh which is kind of like a a, a plum pudding bubbling you know this. <laughs> 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 Oh, lozenge. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> so you need that lozenge, you David. The lozenge, you yeah. can't do it without the lozenge. You can't finish the bit without no, the lozenge. No. Uh, we're going to take a look at some uh, videotape here. What, what are we looking at here? This is another, this is not an impersonation, but a character, this an original a, character. This is an developed. original character. Tell them who this is. This is uh, a character, uh, a piece, 60 Minutes uh, takeoff we did, uh, written by Christopher Guest, Billy Crystal, Harry Shearer, and I. Mm -hmm where uh, Harry Shearer plays Mike Wallace investigating uh, uh, the illegal influx of uh, uh, like joke gag, counterfeit joke gag articles mm -hmm. that are uh, not, not, supposed items. To, yeah, yeah. not supposed to be in the, in the American market. Whoopee cushions that explode, mm -hmm. they're faulty. Yeah. The yeah. Ma noses that leave bad rashes for months. And it turns out to be a uh, Chinese businessman who's done it named Pingy Lee. Mm -hmm. And uh, Pingy won't speak to Mike Wallace, but uh, his very defensive attorney, Nathan Thurm, does speak so to him. So this would be Nathan Thurm. Nathan Thurm. Okay. Nathan Thurm on uh, 60 Minutes. Uh, watch the monitor. Elaine, can you see a monitor up there? I can't. Okay, good. <laughs> Nathan Thurm. Nathan Thurm. Nathan Thurm. Nathan Thurm. <laughs> That's terrific. What now? Are you uh, are you going to be on uh, the show uh, this fall, coming back for another season? I don't know. I, it, there's a lot of... Uh... A lot of what? Let's straighten it out right here. What's <laughs> a lot of what? There's a lot of things that aren't... Uh, I don't know. You know, are, are you going to be here three years from now, let's say? Oh, Jesus. Four I... years from now, will you be behind this desk? But I'm not saying four years. I'm just saying next fall the show will be back on and everybody tunes in to see Ed Grimley and Nathan Thurm and so on and so forth and we'll, we'll want to see you now. You, are you going to be there? Depends on the money. Well... <laughs> No, no, that's not true. No, I, I actually, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who's involved in uh, the cast. You know, I yeah. mean, uh, other you know. other circumstances, and yeah. Well, I hope it works out, and I know that everybody who enjoys your work hope it works out, and, uh, and it, it uh, would be a shame if there was a show that you weren't on.
What a nice, uh, yeah, nice but that thing didn't sound say. right, did it? No, well, but you it, know what I'm saying. From the heart, it was beautiful. All right. Yeah. Uh, have have a good summer. Thank you, Dave. Nice to see you again, nice Martin. Nice to see you. We uh, have to go here for stage identification. We'll be right back. Mm -hmm.